Do you ever wonder why other people's man defense seems to be better than yours or why your cover two defense doesn't work as good as it should? In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that plus some other secret tips that will instantly improve your defense in Madden. Tip number one, how to make your man defense 10 times better. Now, the reason we want to call two man under is because it gives us the two deep zones over the top. You can't really do this that well out of cover one or cover zero man blitzes because in the event that you get beat off the press, you don't want to give up a huge play or a touchdown. You need the two safeties over the top to play real tight man defense. Now what you're going to do is first press the defense by pressing wire triangle and then down on the left stick. You can see all of the DBs are going to come up, get in the face of the receiver, and that's going to get a jam on them, which is going to help give your pass rush time to get home because they're not going to be able to get open right away. But the secret tip here is you also want to shade your defense underneath, which you do by pressing wire triangle and then down on the right stick. Now the reason those safeties over the top is crucial because at times a good receiver will get off the jam quick and he can go down the field on a streak so having those two safeties over the top eliminates you getting beat that way and then otherwise more times than not the coverage is going to be pretty airtight and you'll be able to just suffocate the offense so let's take a look here and you could see the defense is playing tight on everybody and we're getting a good pass rush from our d-line because no one was instantly open again we're going to press and we're going to shade underneath michael parsons might go crazy right here we can see maybe we have b we try to throw it up but this is why you have the safety over the top because it's still going to be a tight window and of course if you're usering over the middle yourself which you should be this is even more powerful because even in the event that maybe somebody does come open over the middle you're here to take that away now in this example right here we are leaving the running back open which isn't necessarily a good thing but if it was a third and long for example you really wouldn't be worried about that and a lot of times people will leave their running back in the block so you kind of have to pick and choose you can't just cover everything 100% of the time but if you're usering over the middle anything that may get open quickly is going to be less open because you're there to take it away let's take a look at another route here let's see if we can fit this corner route in but we can't because even though it looks like it's open the defender is close enough because of how we're playing that he can get up and make a play on it now we're going to move on to the next four tips which are even better than that one but if you don't want to miss out on any of these tip videos all year long to improve your madden game make sure you subscribe and turn the bell icon on because i'm dropping gems like this every week for tip number two let's talk about how to make your cover two defense actually really good in madden so right here i'm gonna first run a standard cover two to kind of show you what's wrong with it this route combination right here that people love to run in madden the corner streak and flat combo will absolutely destroy cover two for big gains because the cloud flats just don't get the depth that they need and especially on the short side of the field like this you'll see that this corner route gets wide open over the top for big gains every time but the other problem with this is that cloud flat on the outside also does not really defend the flat route so you can pick up an easy five yards underneath as well he doesn't really do anything on the play now this is how we make this much better we pull up our coaching adjustments by pressing in the right thumbstick on our controller and then we want to go down to zone drop flats and we want to set this to 30 then we're going to call our tampa 2 defense now what's going to happen here is that cloud flat is now going to get the depth that he needs to defend those deep corners on the sideline and that's the main reason you're going to run a cover two is because you want to keep everything underneath you you don't want to let up big passes down the sideline or down the deep middle you want them to throw short and then you rally down to make hit sticks or make tackles and make them have to make the right read every play because most players don't want to throw short they want to chuck it deep every play and you'll get a lot of people to throw interceptions like this now make sure you don't press the defense or else the cloud flat still will not get good depth if you just leave it regular watch what happens now as we try to throw this corner route you can see that he is back there to now make a play on the ball and if you want to ensure that they play even better you can always back your coverage off by pressing wire triangle and then up on the left stick to give cushion because that way you'll definitely guarantee that they stay back there and again if we try to go throw this corner route you see he's even in better position now and it's a pick now yes we're leaving the underneath open but the underneath was open for the same amount of yards almost either way we get a couple extra yards but that was open no matter what we did before so at least now we're taking away the deeper route and since most players want to just chuck it deep anyway you're going to get a lot more interceptions doing this but if you want to make sure the flat is covered as well you can just manually go out there and use that flat yourself and that way you have the flat and you have the corner locked up and now your opponents that want to just spam that same route combo will have no clue what to do 
We're going to continue on with the next three really great defensive tips, but really quickly, here's a word from today's video sponsor. I want to give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor, Raycon. As you can see, I've got my Raycon everyday earbuds in right now. My favorite earbuds on the market for many reasons. Number one, they're super affordable, but still offer premium quality. But my personal favorite thing about these earbuds has always been the optimized gel tips to give you that perfect in-ear fit and they don't budge. They don't fall out. So when I go jogging, I don't have to worry about them falling out. I like to use them when I'm working out, even when I'm listening to podcasts and things like that. And they offer eight hours of playtime and 30 32 hours of battery life and you can't beat that and on top of all that they're super durable and water resistant so if you leave them out in the rain or you accidentally drop them in like a puddle or even a pool they'll be all right and they even have noise isolation so if you want to kind of block out some of that surrounding noise while you're working out or just hanging out it can do that for you but it also can be switched to awareness mode if you're trying to listen to a podcast or your music but you still need to be aware of things around you like maybe your kids or just other people in your environment so you can kind of get the best of both worlds whichever one you want and with school back in session that means Raycon is having their annual back to school sale for a limited time only you can get 20% off site wide plus free shipping just simply click the link in the description box below or go to buyraycon.com slash rayweather to get your 20% off plus free shipping for tip number three, I'm going to show you how to absolutely shut down inside zone runs from shotgun every single time. The formation you want to use is the nickel 3-3 cub. Up on the screen are all of the playbooks where you can find this formation, but I recommend the 4-6 playbook as it is by far the best playbook in the game. Now in the nickel 3-3 cub, you want to find a play where all of the guys up front are rushing. So the play OLB blitz one, the play Sam will blitz three. You can see the five guys up front are all in red arrows, meaning they're rushing, whereas the play covered three buzz you see there's only four guys rushing plays like mike blitz zero you can see we have everybody up front rushing as well so i'm gonna pick the sam will blitz three now here's how you stop inside zone runs which can be annoying because there are some players online that will just spam inside zone out of shotgun all day and they can be really tough to stop they'll come out in shotgun but they'll rarely pass because they know a lot of people don't understand how to stop the inside zone but once you shut this down then you can force them to pass which they probably don't want to do and then they're going to throw interceptions so what you want to do in this four formation is you want to slide your defensive line to the side of the running back so the running backs on the right here so we're going to go left on the d-pad and then right on the left stick to shift them then the next thing we have to do is go left on the d-pad and then up on the right stick to crash the d-line out and what you want to do is stand right in front of the center like this because the center is going to first kind of shoot over to double team so if you run straight down he will not be able to pick you up right away and this is what it looks like you shoot right in and you hit the running back in the backfield again slide your line to the running back side crash your defensive line out you want to come down a little bit just to make it easy stand right in front of the center you can hold the right trigger or r2 button to be ready to kind of just get to your acceleration right off the bat and as soon as the ball is snapped we're running through and we're hitting the running back for a loss every single time tip number four is a big secret that almost nobody knows about but this can be game changing for you if you use it in the right situation Sometimes when we're playing the game, we don't want to dial up a blitz. We want to kind of play it safe and just have four people rushing and keep a lot of guys in coverage. But a lot of times the pass rush can be inconsistent and it just doesn't get home very quickly. A way to ensure that your pass rush will get home much quicker and block shed much faster is to actually pass commit. To pass commit, you press the RB or R1 button. It's going to pull up your little menu right here and you want to go up on the right stick to guess pass. Now, when you do this, they are actually on average going to block shed much quicker. You see how quick Rashawn Gary got off the block shed there or off the block rather is what I meant to say, but they're just going to shed much quicker. You see, once again, he's shedding very quickly and we're not having a lot of time to pass. And with having all of these guys in the coverage like this, it's going to just make it a lot harder for us to get an easy pass off. The only thing you want to be mindful of is do not pass commit every single time because if they do run the ball, it's going to make you much weaker versus the run and they're not going to block shed. So save it for obvious passing situations like third or fourth and long tip number five is a secret coverage that gives a ton of madden players a lot of problems the coverage i'm talking about here is the cover three cloud now much like the cover two tip that we went over earlier you also want to make sure that you go to your coaching adjustments and you want to put your zone drop flats on 30 maybe 25 depending you can probably get away with 25 with cover three cloud because you have a safety that's a little bit more aggressive over the top but the coverage cover three cloud is going to confuse a lot of people because basically 
basically what happens here is you're having a cover three on one side of the field but more of a cover two style on the other side and what happens is when people are trying to diagnose what coverage you're in they typically are going to look at the safeties or they're going to look at one side of the field first and they're going to assume oh it's a cover three and then they might scan to the other side of the field because they're expecting something to be open but it's a whole different coverage shell on that side of the field and that's going to make them either hesitate or throw interceptions and it happens all the time when i pull out cover three cloud i get more interceptions on this than anything else because most people simply do not practice against it they practice their offense against standard man cover two cover three and maybe cover four but they don't really practice versus the hybrid coverages and it completely throws them off and as you can see the coverage does set up pretty nicely on this play and you just have to use her over the middle let the pass rush get home and you're in there now that you know about these great defensive tips you're halfway there now you need to learn about what to do on offense so that you can score more points and you can check out that video right here on the screen